If you're just tuning in, this is Real Estate Chalk Talk, broadcasting live from the Rack Shack Barbecue Studios. I'm Keith Hittner, Jr. Keith Hittner, Sr. is uh, somewhere. Cabo. Cabo. Lovely Cabo, Cabo San Lucas. Getting some sun. Getting some sun. Well-needed vitamin D. Is that, if anybody's been around Keith over the last couple weeks, they know that he needs a little vitamin D in his life. 612-627-8000 is the phone number. It's real easy to... Really hammer on people when they're not in studio. It's great. It's kind of yeah. fun. It's good. I was out of town a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't reviewed that show. I wonder if you oh, guys you should have heard it. Oh, good. <laughs> Giving me a hard time. Calvin's in studio, as always, our uh, resident money man, 651-231-2500. You can get in touch with him, 651-231-2500, and you can call us anytime, 612-627-8000. I'm excited to introduce Don. Don is with Nothing Bunt Cakes. Uh, love the name. Love the name, totally cute. Um, our first segment, I had made mention that I didn't know you guys were a franchise. I thought it was a local. Um, uh, you guys are local, we right? Are local, so, I yes. uh, thought it was a concept that was just born here recently because I had never heard of it. Yeah, well, we're, we're relatively new to the Minneapolis market. Um, we are a franchise. Um, the franchise started with two women baking in their home kitchen. And they got such a great response from friends and family, and they decided, you know, let's let's take this out there to the public. So they opened a store in Las Vegas okay. um, in the late 90s, and then decided um, the way to expand on that store was to franchise. Um, so we, um, our store opened early September, and we're actually the fourth Nothing But Cakes location in the Minneapolis area. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah. Where are the others? The first location opened in Eden Prairie okay. uh, a little more than two years ago, and then uh, the second store opened in Blaine a little more than a year ago, and then this last summer a location opened in Minnetonka. And then we are the fourth location. Okay. And um, this I'm thinking spring, Woodbury might be a good spot. Well, it, glad you mentioned if that. If anybody's listening, yeah. are, is that going to be you? Absolutely. This spring, two new lo locations are coming to the area, one wow. in Woodbury and one in Maple Grove. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So are you involved only in the Egan location or talk about that a little yeah. bit? Yes. So, well, that's the great thing about franchising. Even though we're part of a larger group, we are all independently owned and operated. Sure. Yeah. So... Um, my husband and I um, and a couple of business partners, um, we opened this location here uh, in Egan. And, um, you know, it's nice to have the umbrella and the safety of sure. a franchise, but also you are the owners and the operators yeah. of your own. It helps store. for the brand presence, doesn't it, to have that franchising back to, to know or, I mean, I, I didn't even know. I thought this, like I said, it was just your spot right here. Uh, it's very well done. Uh, when you go into the store, it's well laid out. Uh, the marketing is phenomenal. I love uh, some of the offers that you guys put out. Yeah. I think they really help to draw people in the mm -hmm. stores, into the location. I'm holding up to the microphone a, a box. So everybody so can see the box. Show <laughs> nice. the camera. Nothing bunt cakes here. Uh, there's some samples in here we're going to get into for sure. They're the tastiest little bunt cakes I've ever had in my life. They and, are not your grandma's bunt cakes. Yeah, and yes. tell me about the product a little bit because you guys go from something I can fit in the palm of my hand to to full size cakes exactly yeah so um, we have four different sizes of cakes like you mentioned our little buntinis are what I brought in for you guys to sample today that's just like a one bite deal it's yeah. two, well it depends it's two, yeah. Probably. <laughs> two. for me for yeah. you yeah. yeah yeah so we've got those then we have what we call our buntlets and those are about the size of a large muffin. So those are, one person can maybe handle them, but they're definitely shareable between two people. Yeah, I have three children, and so they're huge fans. Uh, we take our kids, uh, and I live in the area here, Great. so we take our kids to swim school, and a lot of times we'll go afterwards and, and get ourselves a, a two bun, two, what are you, the muffin ones? Buntlets, yeah. The, yep. the mm -hmm. muffin Buntlets. ones? Yep, yep. yep. Two buntlets, that's enough for uh, basically all five of us to have some of it. Yep, yeah. They're very shareable, yeah. Now, and do you cook everything right there? Or we it... do. We make our, our cakes from scratch. We bake every day in the bakery. We make our frosting from scratch. Um, you so know, good. We use premium ingredients. Um, you know, we've got bakers, we've got frosters. Um, yeah, mm. we're, we're busy little beavers in the That's back awesome. of the bakery. So let yeah. me ask you um, your preferred website now because they have a corporate site, right? Yes. Do you guys have a separate site or is it okay to have people go to that site? The, the corporate website, um, nothingbuncakes.com. Okay. And then from there you choose a location. So you can um, pick a state or pick through a zip code to see if there's a bakery in your area. And one yeah. near you. It seems like you guys have them uh, pretty close to 
everywhere in the metro area now, especially with the two new locations yeah, coming out. Yeah, Do you know where gonna... those two new locations will be? I don't know exactly where the Maple Grove location Maple is going Grove, to be. Okay. Yeah, and Woodbury, um, she's but the Woodbury yeah. location it's off Radio Drive, um, so it's a pretty well traveled area. Very there. well traveled. Yeah. yeah. What made you and your husband interested in in uh, so you wanted to get a franchise of some sort and you chose this? And we chose this one. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did some research on on different franchises and looked around for about a year. Um, looking at different opportunities. Okay. Um, our goal was something to kind of bridge the gap. We have one more child at home and he's going to be graduating high school this year. So okay. we wanted to find something that would bridge the gap now between now and retirement. And um, he's a corporate guy and okay. the plan has always been for him to stay with his <clears throat> corporate job and just be, you know, the backbone and, and help me out behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was a business that needed to resonate with me. And mm -hmm. I've been a baker for a lot of years at home, and I have pretty high standards. That's awesome. um, and the first time um, our business partners introduced us to this concept, and um, you know, first time you taste the cake, it's you get this fantastic reaction. And we sit in the back of the bakery and we listen to it. People put that cake in their mouth, and it's like, oh, mm, yeah. oh my god, you know. And it's we love it. I mean, we love hearing that. We love seeing that reaction. Yeah. So it was it was something that I could definitely relate to. Mm -hmm. Not only the fantastic product, but also just the environment of the store. And you know, the the concept behind it is that we have guests that come in. And these are guests that are coming into your place, and you're introducing them to something that's fantastic. But it's also a concept where we get to celebrate with people. We get to be a part of their um, their good times. They're thanking people. They're congratulating people. They're celebrating a birthday or an mm -hmm. anniversary or something like that. And we get to be a little part of that. And, and that's what really drew me to the concept and to the products. Well, it's a great way to say thank you. Um, for many, many years now, we've been providing to our closing clients cakes. Yep. And we've had people from making custom cakes to buying them in the store to back to custom cakes. And uh, we're always looking for the right thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of times with the full cakes that we bring, it's uh, a lot left over. You end up throwing it away. Uh, it's not as good as what you could otherwise get somewhere else. And we try to find the best thing. And when you guys opened up there, uh, we came in and started trying the product there. And what's great about your cakes for us as a, as a client or customer or a guest, if you will, is that we can share that with our folks at the closing table in an easy way. And we can hand out these little bontinis and they're cute and they're as good as you could possibly imagine. Uh, if you could just give me a cup of frosting, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> you don't, really don't even need the rest. It's so good. It's so good. So did you look at other franchises then? Um, or was this, were you drawn to this one immediately? How did that process go? We actually, we looked at other franchises first, you know, in different areas, not um, not necessarily food service franchises. We mm -hmm. looked at, you know, doing some, some other things from, you know, window blind companies okay. to, um, you know, office rental space type concepts, um, you know, but nothing really hit the mark uh, mm -hmm. for me knowing that I was going to be the one that was going to be operating and be the front end of the business. Um, so this just kind of checked all the boxes for us. And did this fall in your lap then? Did you, um, how did you come about getting in touch with Nothing Bun Cakes? Well, um, it actually, the idea was presented to us by our business partners. Um, our, our business partners actually are part owners in the Eden Prairie store. Okay. And um, so we had been to their store right when it opened and, you know, it just immediately resonated with me. The, the store is so, like you say, cute. It's got that cute factor. It does. And um, we started talking with them. Their idea was to expand into multiple store ownership. And um, so we had had a, an ongoing friendship with them. Um, our husbands worked together um, previously. And so it, you know, we just discussed it for Fate, a lot of months. If you will. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, so we kind of got a glimpse behind the scenes before ever saying, yes, this is something what we, that we want to well, be what, a part what of. What a great opportunity to have those other locations within the marketplace to be able to go and, and shop them and see how they operate and then be able to, of course, model along with the franchise model how you can operate your business. We have just about 40 seconds left. And yeah, another another question, question for you. Yeah, yeah. uh, Product-wise, do you have anything gluten-free for those gluten-free We folks? do. We offer a gluten-free buntlet, which is our, you know, individual size cake. And um, I don't eat 
gluten-free products normally, but our gluten-free chocolate chip cookie flavor is absolutely phenomenal. Well, Kellen's awesome. a big chocolate chip go. cookie yes. guy. Let me tell the folks where you're at. You're on Cliff Road in Egan, nothingbuntcakes.com. What's a good telephone number for you guys? Telephone number 651-452-8292. Um, we take orders on the phone, in person, or through our website. We do online ordering as well. Thank you, Don. Um, one last thing. What's your favorite? Uh, b b come on, oh, real quick. Oh, uh, it's really hard to say. Chocolate, chocolate chip. I okay. think would be my. Mine's favorite. red velvet. Love it, love it. Thank you so much, Don. Thanks for coming. And nothingbuntcakes.com. This is your real estate chalk talk. We'll be right back with our market segment. When we return, give us a call, 612-627-8000. That's 612-627-8000, or visit realestatechalktalk.com. Get that Frank Shack attack, Frank Shack barbecue, mm -hmm.